it's that time of year now when people are starting their lawnmowers, mowing the grass, the flowers are out, the birds are singing, and we're getting our gardens ready. We're over at Joe Holdridge's house in Albuquerque, and he's working in his garden right now. Let's go see what he's doing. Well, Joe, what are you doing? Curtis, I'm just looking at my soil to see what I think, how it looks for the spring. Uh, been built up over lots of years, and I'm it's awful to, pretty. It's it, not New Mexico dirt. No, it 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 had something added to it besides New Mexico dirt. And <laughs> this, this started out in '89, and each fall I add something manure or compost, and then well, you've got a lot of leaves in here as well. Add some add add uh, Diane. We take all the leaves off off and add them, and they break down, and we rototill them in or or, or dig them in. Or oh, and I see this right here as well. It's yep. like it's shaped like when I picked it up. It was shaped like an old pot. Shaped like an old pot. Yeah, those that was some of the potting leftover soil? from the potting soil from my cold frame of so last add, year. Add that to your garden as well. That's just compost. It's just compost. And so uh, you will be working things in, make it a lot better. Uh, you said you use compost. You can buy it, or you can make it. Which one do you use? Well, we do both. We <laughs> make it, but we don't make enough to satisfy our needs, so we buy some too. Okay. Uh, and then it's really important that uh, as you're putting it in the garden, you rototill it in, turn it in, or you can use a shovel. So there are a number of ways, and I think we're set up here to show people different ways they can be preparing their garden soil. So let's go get some equipment and start showing some things. I think that's an excellent idea, Curtis. Joe, there's a lot of different tools you can use as you work in the garden. I've got a flat bladed spade, which is a real good garden tool. You've got a tile spade or a sharpshooter, Sharp a lot of people call it. It's good. Uh, it's good for turning the soil. It's work. It's the way I've done most of my gardening most of my life. And uh, you know, I've always heard of double digging. And I thought we might demonstrate that here. You d probably double dug your garden early in the year, so you don't have to dig it every year like that. This Curtis, is the extra work. Yeah, I've heard of double digging. I, we, we need to show people what double digging really is. Well, I, I've just heard about it, and so let's, let's, let's see that. you do it. What we're going to do is actually dug, dig double deep. So we push the shovel in, turn the soil to the side, get it out of the way. And what we're going to do is dig a trench. So we work the soil this way. Yeah, and there's really no better way to prepare your soil than digging if you've got the, right. the, the strength. This gets in there. And then what we're going to do is go back where we already dug that trench and dig a second depth. Want to go in there deep? And now we just turn the soil over in the trench. So you're getting below the, the topsoil. You can see the color of the soil that's different, and it's that's, that's below the topsoil. I can see it, and I can feel it. It's a lot harder <laughs> to work. Right. So it's good to do this every few years because this garden's been here a while. Anyway, for the sake of being quick, we're not going to do the whole trench. But then what you do is you move to the next row. And you dig the top layer again and turn it onto the row you just dug. And so you dig a trench, continue that. Then you go back in and double dig the second trench. No, that's an excellent way to prepare your soil. The sharpshooter does essentially that in one in one operation because uh, it's so deep. It you can you can almost go the, the twelve inches with one one turn. Yes. Look you, at that. And you and you can just turn it in and, and but you're lifting a little more soil. You're lifting a little more too. soil. You certainly are. And then we've got the uh, spading fork here. This is good for turning soil. Not as good for double digging. You can if it'll hold together. This is good for turning looser soil. Good for does. turning in the compost, the leaves, and things like that. And I like it because you can actually just push it in. You don't even have to step on it. Works good. There's some this of my girly. earthworms. Ah, uh, yes. You improve the soil so they love to live here. They love to live here. You know, I'm breathing hard. This is work. It's fun. It's good exercise. But you know, these days, we've got a different way of doing this. Let's, show them, one. Let's, show, let's show them our little rototiller. So let's look at the rototilling. Set our shovels aside our spades aside and go get the rototillers. Well, Joe, this is a lot easier way to garden than working with a shovel. Shovels are good, 
but I like rototillers. We've got two of the extremes here. Got a big one here. You've got a small one there. This is the rear tine tiller. That's front tine. A lot in between. There's even some bigger than this. Yes, there are. Which one do you like? Well, I like them both. I, <laughs> I, you, as you know, I borrow yours every year and, and rototill my garden area with, with the larger well, tiller. What's nice here. is you can adjust how deep you till by just adjusting the drag. Putting but, it down and go deeper. Raising it up for shallower. And that one you don't have as much control. Once you get it established with it with a big rototiller, this little tiller is is, is very handy in a, in a small garden. This is good for weeding between the plants, whereas this would be a little bit harder. Much, and it's also good in small beds. And that one that, that one's a little hard to control in, in small beds. And you like to rototill compost in in front of your tiller sometimes too, don't you? You want to show us how you put the compost out? Yeah, let's put the compost out and rototill, rototill a little of it in. We'll have a race. Ooh, look at those worms. They're happy here, and they'll enjoy your garden. Okay, Joe. Gentlemen, start your engine. Let's have a race here. <laughs> 